In the strange realm of TMNT, the range of characters displayed extraordinary lives and origins. Amidst them, lesser-known figures hid in plain sight, guarding their own secrets. In this episode, we delve into these unknown connections within the TMNT family tree, revealing more than just Master Splinter and the Turtle Boys. The series unfolds a complex tale with family bonds that possess more twists than a pretzel. Beyond the New York City sewers, the Turtle family tree extends its roots to the land of the rising sun, Japan. Pan. While this list includes family members, not all share bonds of love and care. Indeed, some have switched sides, completely defying the regular definition of family. Don't miss the entire episode, as I promise it to be an explosive one. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Enough! Hamato Yuta, Adopted Grandfather Hamato Yuta served as the leader and sensei of the Hamato clan. He instructed Yoshi, aka Master Splinter, and Saki, aka Shredder, on life discipline and combat. Yuta was afflicted by illness and soon passed away. His death had a significant impact on the Hamato clan, leading to a decrease in their numbers and influence. He wore a distinctive white kimono that had Hamato symbols on it. Yoshi and Saki frequently argued about their love for Tang Shen during their training sessions with Yuta. While both brothers were interested in Shen, she ultimately favored Yoshi. This led Yuta to step in and address their conflicts. At times, Yuta had to use force to calm their disagreements, pressing his finger onto their shoulders during one such instance. Then came a moment when Saki discovered his Foot Clan lineage and Yuta's role in the death of Saki's father, Oroko Kaiji. Saki turned against the Hamato clan. He donned a foot uniform and attacked the dojo. Yuta's fate remains uncertain, as he never reappeared and left his whereabouts unknown. In his youth, Yuta's face was never fully revealed, but flashbacks show him with black hair in traditional Hamato attire. Despite his calm and humble nature, Yuta displayed anger when faced with violent conflicts. A typical example would be his intervention in the Saki Yoshi fight. In addition to his role as a spiritual leader, Yuta graciously welcomed Oroko Saki as an infant after the tragic events that led to the death of Saki's true father, Oroko Kaiji. Hamato Atsuko Yoshi's mother. Hamato Atsuko, the mother of Hamato Yoshi, belonged to the Hamato clan and was the daughter of Hamato Sho. She had a traditional Japanese appearance with long black hair styled in a bun and wore a kimono along with a Hamato clan emblem. Atsuko had a tender and responsible nature. She always expressed a desire to stay with Yoshi during challenging times. Despite her strong bond with Yoshi, she adhered to her clan duties, leaving to prevent the return of the Shredder. Atsuko was trained from a young age just just like the others in the Hamato clan, Atsuko wielded a katana and possessed some crazy ninjutsu skills. I'm pretty sure she was preparing to combat the Shredder if necessary. Before disappearing, she once visited a park with her father and young Yoshi, where she bid farewell before fulfilling her clan responsibility. Atsuko unfortunately passed away from unknown causes, never seeing Yoshi again. In an episode, she showcased a unique ability to deconstruct her body into flower petals to teleport. Whether this this power is linked to Hamato Ninpo or independent remains unclear. Atsuko's legacy lives on as a devout mother and skilled member of the Hamato clan. Hamato Yoshi, aka Master Splinter, Adopted Father Hamato Yoshi is also known as the Master Splinter. We all know about the pivotal role he played as the adoptive father and sensei to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yoshi was born in Japan into the Hamato clan. He trained in martial arts and had a rivalry with the Shredder, Oroku Saki. Their conflict reached new and deadly heights due to their shared affection for Tang Shen. This further led to a tragic confrontation. Saki, now the Shredder, caused a fire that claimed Shen's life. Additionally, Yoshi's daughter Miwa's fate remained unknown due to the fire. Yoshi sought a new life in New York City where he encountered the Krang, an alien from Dimension X who played a crucial role in the story ahead. In a twist of fate, Hamato Yoshi and the Turtles were exposed to mutagen, a transformative substance. This exposure led to Hamato Yoshi undergoing a radical transformation, turning him into a humanoid rat. Simultaneously, the Turtles also 
also underwent a significant change, becoming intelligent humanoid beings. Splinter understood the potential dangers they might encounter. He took in and raised the turtles as his own sons. He even imparted ninjutsu training to them, preparing them for the trials of the outside world. As their father and mentor, Splinter guided the turtles in facing threats and navigating the complexities of the surface. Oroko Saki, Hamato Yuta's adopted son. Oroko Saki, known as the Shredder, was a well-known villain of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. He serves as the leader of the Foot Clan and held a deep, rooted hatred for Splinter and the Turtles. Saki's quest for vengeance reached its peak when he transformed into Super Shredder. However, the Turtles intervened and a fierce battle began that resulted in Shredder's death. Looking at his origins, Oroko Saki was from a rival clan, the Hamatos. Their leader saved him after a monastery clash. Oroko was raised alongside Hamata Yoshi, and the two became brothers and rivals in their martial arts training. The rivalry intensified when they both fell in love with Tang Shen. When Oroko was overwhelmed by jealousy, he discovered his true heritage. Oroko proceeded and rebuilt the Foot Clan as the Shredder, and sought revenge on Hamato's family. In a violent assault, he murdered Shen and sacrificed his own face. Oroko didn't stop there. He even kidnapped Hamato's daughter, Miwa and renamed her Karai. For 15 years, Shredder relentlessly pursued Hamato, now Splinter, and his mutant ninja turtles. Tang Shen, Splinter's wife. Tang Shen was a woman who married Hamato Yoshi, Splinter, and was later killed by Oroko Saki, the Shredder. She was loved by both Yoshi and Saki. After marrying Yoshi, she gave birth to their daughter Miwa. In a resentful attack, Saki confronted Yoshi in their home, which led to a battle that caused a fire that burned the entire monastery. While Yoshi survived, she did not, and Miwa was abducted by Saki. Saki also falsely blamed Yoshi for Shen's death, maybe because he accidentally killed her when she tried to intervene in their fight. After Shen's death, Yoshi left Japan and moved to New York City. Her demise might be the reason Yoshi acquired the turtles in the first place. She was a beautiful, caring, and motherly woman, loving both Yoshi and her daughter Miwa. Despite choosing Yoshi over Saki, she still regarded Saki as a brother-in-law, though he didn't share the same sentiment. Shen believed in the brotherhood between Yoshi and Saki, but Saki, after being aware of his adoption, denied any true bond. During during a deadly fight between Yoshi and Saki, she agreed to Yoshi's request and left with Miwa. However, witnessing the escalating fight, she returned to save Yoshi. In a tragic turn, she sacrificed herself to protect Yoshi from Saki's lethal strike. Hamato Miwa Hamato Miwa, also known as Karai, is a young girl caught in a conflict between her biological father, Hamato Yoshi, and Oroku Saki. Initially, she is portrayed as an anti-hero. This is when she believed Saki was her father. However, Karai later turned against him upon discovering his false claims. She is the real daughter of Hamato Yoshi and Tang Shen. The family's harmony was disrupted when Saki attacked their home, resulting in a fire that claimed Tang Shen's life. Yoshi thought Miwa had perished in the fire too. He was unaware that Saki had kidnapped her for revenge and renamed her Karai. She was raised and trained by Saki, and Karai was fed lies about her past. This includes blaming Yoshi for the fire. However, she eventually learned the truth about her heritage and underwent mutation into a serpent while confronting Shredder alone. Karai's skills as a Kanoichi are pretty deadly. It allows her to face the turtles without much effort. She wields a wakizashi, a shorter Japanese blade, and possesses possesses great strength and acrobatic abilities. Karai can spit blinding venom when angered and also use her tongue in a pitchfork-like action. In one of the episodes, it is revealed that she can revert to her original human form without serpentine features, which pretty much means she can morph between her human and mutant form with ease. Raphael. Raphael, aka Raph, is the most intense and aggressive of the four Turtle Brothers. He's a direct fighter, lacking the patience to attack stealthily or keep even quiet when breaking in. While he is fiercely loyal to his brothers, he can be a bit of a troublemaker. This naturally gives him a hard time, and he occasionally goes off on his own when feeling unappreciated. Yeah, he's a bit emotional, I guess. His closest companion is his pet turtle, Spike. You heard that right. Raph and his brothers were originally 
ordinary turtles adopted by Hamata Yoshi from a pet store. Their mutation occurred when Yoshi confronted a strange man who was a krangdroid. He accidentally stepped on a rat's tail, revealing their presence. Soon, a fight ensued that led to the krang dropping a canister of mutagen, causing both Yoshi and the turtles to mutate. Splinter, formerly Yoshi, took them to the sewers, trained them in ninjutsu, and named them after Renaissance artists. Known for his short temper and hot-headed nature, Raph loves fighting and isn't bothered by injuries. He prefers straightforward plans and often mocks his brothers with sarcastic remarks. Despite Michelangelo being considered the funniest, Raphael is the most sarcastic and relentless, making him a deadly fighter. Leonardo. Leonardo is commonly known as Leo. He is the leader of the Turtles and strives to be a brave and perfect hero despite being an inexperienced teen. He is often frustrated due to the learning gap between his goal and reality. Leo has emerald green skin and sapphire blue eyes, and he wears a blue mask. Leo is diligent, driven, and the most serious of the Turtles, so much that he is often hard on himself. However, Leo's dedication doesn't go unnoticed. He's Splinter's favorite student. As the leader, Leo makes commands, but this sometimes bothers his brothers, especially Raphael. He is responsible and protective, and acts as a big brother and sometimes a guide to his siblings. Leo's maturity and balanced approach makes him a wiser leader. However, his rivalry with Raphael can cause team issues sometimes. Leo is a sci-fi geek, particularly fond of the show Space Heroes. He often tries to emulate his hero, Captain Ryan, which again annoys his brothers. As a perfectionist, Leo compares and Himself to Captain Ryan and sometimes second guesses his decisions. He even developed a crush on Karai, which shows his more personal side within the team dynamics. Donatello. Donatello, or Donny, is the genius inventor and weapons master of the turtle team. He crafts everything, from bow staffs to insane gadgets and even vehicles. His brilliant mind allows him to create incredible things from waste. Donny wears a purple mask with longer tails than his brothers. Although he is pretty intelligent, Donny is the most isolated and socially awkward turtle, especially when he is around April. He's quiet, reserved, and lacks a Mikey-like outgoing nature. Donny is deep deeply caring for his friends, like his emotional reaction to April's leaving after her father's mutation. Donatello's social awkwardness contrasts with Leo's charisma and Raph's indifference. He takes things too personally, cares deeply, and doesn't do well under pressure. Donny, despite being easily nervous and occasionally losing his temper, is also romantic and loving. He appreciates the love between his father Splinter and his wife Tang Shen, showcasing a more emotional side to his character. Shuto! Back this strike! Yeah! Front snap kick! Michelangelo. Michelangelo, or Mikey, is the smallest and least mature of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He has a light green appearance and freckles too. Mikey wears an orange mask with shorter tails. He is labeled as the wild one and the party dude for his enthusiasm and creativity. Mikey has a nature of being easily distracted. However, he also comes up with boundless ideas that result in occasional brilliance. His unique combination of creativity and lack of focus gives him a bizarre flow that sets him apart from from his brothers. Mikey has impulsive behavior, but his maturity gradually increases throughout the series. He wants humans to embrace him and his brothers as he desires acceptance from the outside world. Mikey is always armed with nunchucks and a kusari gama, a traditional Japanese weapon. He is also the first to taste pizza and take pride in his weird talent for naming things. This guy may seem a bit impulsive and not always thoughtful. However, he is indeed one smart turtle. Mikey's occasional stupid behavior, such as playing pranks or teasing Raph doesn't reflect his true intelligence. April O'Neil, the turtle's surrogate sister, uncertain genetic relation. April O'Neil is a close ally and friend of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. She initially lived with her aunt. However, Master Splinter invited her to stay in the sewer for safety from Shredder and Krang. April is a fully graduated Kanoichi who underwent intensive training. Later, she officially joined the Hamato clan. April has a slim build, blue eyes, and ginger hair in a ponytail. She's a 16-year-old with an indie rock kind of vibe. 
April is known for intelligent and feisty nature. Although she is reckless, April fiercely cares for her mutant friends and family. She was born as a result of her mother's Krang experiments and hence possesses unique mental abilities. At first, she had difficulty managing her abilities, but with special training from Master Splinter, tests with Donnie, and using the Aeon Crystal's power, she gained better control. Throughout the series, April develops her physical abilities which enable her to levitate objects and people on a molecular level. As her skills progress, she gains the capability to lift heavier objects and combines her psychic powers with Tessin Jitsu. Casey Jones Casey Jones is a teenage human vigilante. He is also dedicated to hunting down mutant threats and criminals in New York City. Casey is a close friend of the Ninja Turtles and April O'Neil. He is a useful ally as Casey possesses knowledge about mutants and has created his own weapons arsenal for combating enemies. This includes mutants and criminals as well. He may have a lair in the sewer and has set up traps for potential threats. That's neat. Physically, Casey is thin for a teenager, but taller than April and the turtles. Casey uses hockey sticks and baseball bats as weapons. This shows his skills acquired through combat training with Splinter and the turtles. Although he initially had a reckless fighting style, Casey trained hard and became a more skilled and effective fighter. He can take on various opponents including Krang droids, footbots, and powerful mutants like Raza and Fishface. Casey is not just reliant on weapons, he possesses high-level skills in hand-to-hand -hand combat. This was pretty evident when he knocked out a giant rat with his bare fists. Casey is recognized for his endurance and ingenuity. He cleverly makes gadgets almost as effective as Donatello's. Despite his bold attitude, he shows he's a skilled strategist using different weapons and tools to outsmart and defend enemies in his quest for justice. Casey Marie Jones In the last Ronan storyline, Casey Marie Jones is the daughter of April O'Neil and the late Casey Jones. She is described as tall, slender, and muscular young woman. Casey Marie is headstrong, stubborn, and deeply cares about justice and the people in her life. She sounds like pure hero material. Despite her impatience and tendency to jump into situations, she shows determination and a strong sense of right and wrong. Casey Marie's introduction involves her encountering Michelangelo after he steals and damages her motorcycle. Discovering Michelangelo's injuries, she follows him into the sewer and learns about the turtles. She prevents him from committing seppuku and takes him to the lair. It's revealed that she and her late father were exposed to mutagen from the turtles and splinter. This resulted in her having mutant abilities since birth, including enhanced strength, speed, and even healing ability. Her strength surpasses Olympic-level weightlifters. She can also defeat opponents with her enhanced abilities. Despite not reaching Michelangelo's level, she has defeated a robotic foot cop and demonstrated agility comparable to top human athletes. After years of training, Casey Marie has become an expert in martial arts and ninjutsu. She even faced cyborg foot soldiers and beat the crap out of them. Piebald, Splinter's adopted mutant daughter. Piebald was originally Splinter's pet goldfish. She underwent a mutation and transformed her appearance. Initially, she was a goldfish with dark orange and white mottled scales and blue eyes. After mutation, Piebald became a mutant goldfish with large brown eyes, dark orange and white mottled scales, and a unique outfit. She now wears a black sleeveless hooded cloak and grey wraps around her arms. In her debut episode, Piebald displayed an intimidating and sadistic side, seemingly taking joy in frightening the turtles. However, it turns out her revenge was a prank, revealing a more playful and laid-back nature. Despite the turtles accidentally flushing her down the toilet a year prior, Piebald doesn't hold a grudge and appears to enjoy playful interactions. As it goes, a mishap during a game of sewer hockey led to her bowl being shattered. To ensure her survival, the turtles temporarily placed her in the lair's toilet, but a disc accidentally triggered the flush, sending Piebald into the pipes. During her journey through the sewage system, Piebald faced challenges, including an encounter with the trash wizard and eating an mosquito. This led to her mutation. Post-mutation, Piebald gained unique abilities such as invisibility through camouflage, creating distracting bubbles with her mouth, and surprising opponents with more hidden attacks.
Marvelous verdict. In exploring the world of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we've come across some never-before-seen family ties. I must say, every one of them has their unique place in the storyline and imparts the story in their own unique way. From Saki to Piebald, and from the US to Japan, this family has some really insane diversity. Today's episode didn't just show the lesser-known bonds of the Turtle family, but it gave us a new perspective to look at the characters in every comic book and series that we come across. Connecting such vivid characters requires some serious creativity. Kudos to the minds behind such a unique storyline. The Turtles aren't some random team of heroes. They have been safeguarding New York City for ages and will keep doing so forever. Hope you liked it. See you in the next one. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave and like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thank you everyone.